Welcome, apprentices and acolytes. I am Lord Dagavir, and today I'm going to talk about Exegol Outposts sending me out a brand new lightsaber. And I'm going to compare it to my Saber Forge, which is something I bought almost three years ago, and why I actually prefer Exegol Outposts right now. I hope you enjoy, fam, and make sure you ready up for a fine edition. So before I get into everything else, I just want to talk about my experience with lightsaber companies. A lot of lightsaber companies only acknowledge really large content creators. These are people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers on all of their social platforms combined. As a company, they have to profit. They need to partner with these large influencers that you see on TikTok and YouTube because they're trying to sell a product. But the reason why I love Exegol Outpost so much is because they're treating other content creators like humans. It doesn't matter what your subscriber count is or how many followers you have on Twitter, they actually look about the potential of your content. I have had really good relationships with Level Up Lightsaber and Alan, and of course Imperial Workshop. Those are the only two lightsaber companies that ever acknowledged me before this. The Level Up Lightsaber even partnered with me and actually worked with me. And those individuals are incredible and you should check out those companies. But Exegol Outpost actually found me on Twitter and the main guy that runs it <laughs> continuously talks to me and is trying to develop a relationship with me. As a content creator who's trying to grow and become one of the new generation Star Wars content creators, that makes me so happy because I appreciate the effort in acknowledging me and my work because there's so many other companies out there, partnerships and sponsorships, that just don't want to work with individuals that don't have thousands and hundreds of thousands of subscribers or followers. And that's why I enjoy and I really appreciate companies like Level Level Up Lightsaber, Imperial Workshop, and Exegol Outpost because they actually care and they want to work with individuals. But how is the product? Well, let's talk about it. We're starting off with the Exegol Outpost Erasable Hilt, and I love this because it's simple, it's affordable, and it still looks good. It's angled, it has these window emitter parts where you can see the blade, and I love the sleekness to it. The power button is easy to work with, and of course it comes with the adapter port as well. This hilt itself is $75, which is actually cheaper than the Arbiter Shoto, which is what I have from Saberforge. Now this is the Arbiter Shoto. I believe you can get the hilt itself closer to about $90 with no electronics, but of course everyone wants to see some sizzle. But I love the way the withered effect works on this, and I think that's why so many people spend so much money on Saberforge is because the craftsmanship is practically masterful. Now does that overcompensate for the 15 to 13 weeks that you have to wait for the blade? You decide. Now the tape is something I added on there because it did cut me, and I'm talking about really deep, but I love, I still love the way it looks. But I am a fan of both of the hilts. Now back to the erasable for Exegol Outpost. As you can see here, this is the way you turn on the saber. Very straightforward. And unlike my saber forge, this blade actually comes with three blade effects. The steady effect, which is just the neutral lightsaber effect. The unstable effect, which is very similar to Kylo Ren's, it's kind of hard to see, so I did put it up against the wall, you can kind of see a better effect, but it's very nice in person. And the pulse effect, which is actually the one that I use the most when I'm spinning in TikTok. And this is something that I also do not have on my Arbiter. This is something that I feel like Saber Forge needs to get better at. The Exegol Outpost Sabers all come with base lit at the very least and i love that you can change to almost any single color except for black i think i have a hard time trying to create gray and i think brown is almost impossible but i'm not sure but again this is just for the base lit this is not something i have on my saber forge which is really sad and it's so fun to mix and change all these different type of colors mm -hmm. on a whim so you can always get those tiktok trends whenever you want now let's go through all of the sounds that it comes with. The Dark Sword. Princess. 
And this sadly is all the Saberforge can do at the most generic price. Just the light itself. There is no sound, just the light. What a piece of junk! But understand this, there is a reason why so many people choose Saberforge and it's because of the craftsmanship, I'll explain. Now I know this review is sounding completely heavily biased towards Exegol Outpost, but you have to understand, this lightsaber was the first lightsaber I ever paid for. At the time, it was over $200, and that was just for the hilt itself and the basic light, light, look, it's, it's a flashlight, it's, it's a flashlight. Hey guys, Lord Dagavir here in the middle of editing this video, and I just want you to understand what I'm talking about when in terms of prices. So the erasable on Exegol Outpost is actually only $75. That is without any of the electronics, that is without a blade, it's just the hilt itself. Now, if I was going to choose Xenoblade, which is by far one of the most popular electronics in demand right now with a 30 inch blade, that is $167 right now at this moment of recording. If I go over to Saberforge and look at the Arbiter Shoto, right now with just the baselet 32 inch actually we'll do the same so we'll do 18 inch for the for the uh, hilt itself that is hundred and eighty four dollars and ninety eight cents on top of the 12 to 15 weeks to ship that is right now at this moment of recording again that is with the saber forge and not even the same level of electronics it is just the turning on the light in itself the hilt itself is incredible, and I understand now that not everybody is just going to Saberforge for their overhashed prices. No, it's because the hilts themselves are so refined, and what these experienced lightsaber people do is that they go out, they buy the hilt from Saberforge, and then they use electronics from these upper companies and they put them inside. That's an entirely different playing field as someone who was just a scrub watching TikToks and just wanted to spin a lightsaber that looked really cool. So there is benefit to companies like Saberforge. Now about their moral views and their ownership and how their ownership treats content creators, that's not really something I'm about. But from what I've seen is that a lot of people actually do appreciate the hilts from Saberforge. But here's the thing, in this economy right now where gas is crazy expensive and I'm just literally trying to do paycheck to paycheck, I'm trying to get the most affordable, the nicest looking Saber that also does Xenopixel, that also does Profi, Neopixel, anything you want to say. This obviously doesn't have that, but Exegol Outpost has those. And they have some of the craziest hilts too, like Stellan Geos from the High Republic. You know I want that. But the other thing to kind of discount me buying a Saber Forge is also because for that same price of just the hilt, I can go out and I can get a Hasbro, Black Series lightsaber, or even a Disney lightsaber. Yeah, it's not Profi or Neopixel, and the blade may not be able to, to be used during combat and tournaments, but hey man, the hilts are gorgeous. Especially this Kylo Ren one that literally looks like it was used on the movie set. It's one of my favorites. But it also has electronics. It lights up. It does noises. It has contact activation where you actually hit it and it sounds like a saber or a blaster. The Revan one even changes colors from purple to red. So at the end of the day, I I'm really not going to try to buy a saber forge unless I'm loaded with money and I finally understand so much more about lightsabers than I did before. I love the hilt. It's awesome. But to be honest, I just feel like there's better products out there for what you want to achieve. And for a spinner like myself, who's looking for Neopixel, it's all about Exegol Outpost right now, fam. <laughs> or Level Up Light and Imperial Workshop. You can get that Neopixel, you can get all that goodness and lightsaber and spins with a beautiful hilt for way less than Saber Forge. This is my first video about lightsabers and I actually want to do so much more. The funds aren't there, but I absolutely want to educate you guys on which lightsabers that you should get and which lightsabers that you should probably just wait until you have a little bit more spending money. In my personal opinion, I just can't afford the Saber Forge hilt. I'm, I'm a broke boy. <laughs> That's why right now I feel like the best companies to go out and try our Level Up Lightsaber, Imperial Workshop, and my boy at Exegol Outpost, who's literally trying to do custom work for you guys. He even is trying to put custom emblems from your YouTube content creation on your Saber itself, and so much more. Go out and check him out, the link is in the bio. Well fam, I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait till I get more Sabers in the future so I can tell you what you should get. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around fam. Deuces!